first I want to say, I can't believe what a great crowd we have on such a snowy night as tonight. Yeah, a couple thousand expected. But going back to the game, we've got, we, this game features the second youngest team in the country in Green Bay versus the second oldest team in the country, Cleveland State. So, interesting, uh, it's like the, the, the uh, seniors playing the freshmen basically tonight. Indeed, indeed. So, we are just about set. For jump ball here tonight, Cleveland State will be going left to right, Green Bay right to left, Green Bay wearing their traveling greens, Cleveland State in their home whites, it'll be Spider Johnson versus Cade Meyer, and the Vikings and Phoenix about to get it going. These two teams will see one another again this month in a couple of weeks in Green Bay. Jump ball is in the air and it's won by Green Bay. It's collected by Lucas Steber. And he'll come ahead against the Vikings man to man. We're underway here at the Wolstein Center, downtown Cleveland. Horizon League basketball on ESPN Plus alongside Pat Vianchik. I'm Al Pulowski. Steber with it at the left point now with 15 on the shot clock. Hodge is marker. He'll set it sideline left, collecting it there. Cade Meyer. Now McGee with 10 on the shot clock, left wing, 25 feet away. Going to work. Double teamed on the sideline. Five on the shot clock. Picks the dribble up. Throws it to Meyer. Left of the key. Puts up a jumper from there, no good. Rebound go million for Cleveland State. He'll race ahead and get it to Parker in the front court. Sean Parker on the left wing. Green Bay in a man to man. Parker will walk it out top. Give it to Johnson. High post left. Johnson looks, looks, gonna hand off Parker. He'll send it left wing now to go million. Go million dribbles inside the arc. Back out again with 10 to shoot. Go million to the free throw line. Down the lane. Lob up for Johnson. Come on! First two today. It's a lob from Gomillion to Johnson, 2-0 Vikings. What execution, the Vikes use the entire shot clock and then whittled it down to almost nothing and throw the dunk pass. Beautiful execution. Amari McGee in the front court on the dribble, he'll get it over to Jenkins. Nate Jenkins, the 6'2 sophomore from Wisconsin. Sets it sideline left, here's Lucas Steber, cross court pass, Meyer collects, drives baseline, pumps her to the basket, put it up, partially blocked and grabbed by Spider Johnson. Up to Gomillion, 2 nothing Vikings as Gomillion hurries into the front court, stops on the right wing, throws it left wing, Hodge, catch and shoot, triple up, around the rim and out. Collected by Jenkins, the rebound for Green Bay. 18-22 on the first half clock, 2 nothing Cleveland State, powering his way to the rack as Emmanuel Ansong didn't get it to go, got his own rebound though and put it up and in. First two for Ansong, we're even at two. Great job by Ansong staying with that rebound amidst the taller trees there. Gomillion with the basketball now for the Vikings out town. He's straight away about 30 feet as he sends it high post left to Johnson. Hand off Gomillion. Stops inside the arc, left wing. Ball knocked off of him. He dives to midfloor, saves oh, it to Johnson. He races back to midfloor to get it. Yeah. Eight on the shot clock. Now Parker. He'll go down low to Johnson. Ball deflected away. Stolen by Nate Jenkins of Green Bay. 2-2 two -two game, 2 minutes 15 seconds in here tonight. Cleveland, Ohio, the Wolstein center, the place. Lucas Stever backing in on the left wing. Double teamed against the Viking man-to-man. -man. Picks it up, goes to McGee. McGee at the right point. He'll send it left wing, Jenkins. Bounce it down low, Anson. Guarded by Patton. Turns, takes a dribble. Jumper in the air from five feet. Swish. Emmanuel Anson four, Cleveland State two. And that's what Green Bay will try to do. They'll try to pound it down low and score on the block. Yeah, Green Bay wants to go half court. Try to slow the game down. The Vikings rather speed it up. Here's Gomillion. Great cut. Makes the catch off of Johnson. Backdoor fine, and he lays it in with the reverse, and we're even at four. Vikes are one of the best interior passing teams in the country, hands down. In the front court now on the dribble, it's McGee against Hodge. Dribbles to the left wing with Meyer setting a screen for him. McGee now out near mid floor, pounded by Hodge. McGee will drive. McGee in the lane, got to the rack, threw up a left handed shot, no good. Rebound go million. Long ball ahead, Pat, two on one with Parker. Pat to Parker, dropped it, picked it up, shoot, scores the layup from the left side. First two for Parker. Cleveland State back on top, six to four, 16 39 to go in the first. Cleveland State's game, they love to get out and run. Double team in the backcourt. Jenkins got it away to McGee, far side pass, Stever now. In the front court. He'll bounce pass it to a cutter, going to the basket and cramming it home is Ansong. Wow, he has all six of Green Bay's points. We're tied at six. Ansong came in averaging 12, having a good start tonight. Man, he got up quick on that one. 16 17 on the first half clock. Johnson, high post right, flips it to Parker. Dribbles around a Johnson screen, hooks a pass into Johnson, knocked away but came to go million left wing. He'll bounce it down a little, a cutting Pat, and he scores it off the window. First two for Patton. 8-6 Cleveland State timeout for a moment as Lucas Steber appears dazed for a moment. He's checking his First eye contact, and nose. Maybe? Yeah, maybe a contact is out. And they'll send him to the bench. We'll get our first sub tonight. It's for the Green Bay Phoenix. 
And replacing him will be Randy Tucker, the 6'4 redshirt sophomore. So we'll continue on here as uh, Steber will take a break, get assistance from the trainer. 8'6 Vikings, 16'05, first half. It's another example of that interior passing on that last play. They do such a great job of setting up the backdoor cut the Vikings. Vikings in full court pressure. Green Bay able to break it, though, as McGee trots it across the timeline over on the right wing. He's out about 25 feet working on Hodge, maybe closer to 30, as he brings it over to the left wing and hands it off there to Tucker. Tucker dribbles to the right wing against Hodge, who picks him up on the switch. Vikings continue in the man-to-man. -man. Eight on the shot clock. Still dribbling the basketball as Tucker lost it. Hodge steals. Up ahead, Parker going to the rack, lays it in. 10-6 Cleveland State, Parker with a Viking high four points. Hodge is one of the best defenders in the country. He just picked it, literally picked his pocket for that steal. He certainly did. <laughs> Hodge averaging over two steals per game. Jenkins in the front court against Parker. Cleveland State up by four, 15-20 on the first half clock. Right wing it goes to Meyer. He'll dribble to the baseline, spin in the lane, got to the rack, left-handed finger roll is up and in. Great move by Cade Meyer, the six foot eight freshman from Monroe, Wisconsin. 10-8 Cleveland State, first two for Meyer. Here's Patton on the left side, bodied up by McGee. Sends it out top to Gomillion. Got about 30 feet between the circles, goes left wing. More at the left high post, Johnson dribbles to the free throw line, throws it sideline right, Patton settles, fires the tray, switch! Torrey Patton all net, he's got five, 13-8 Vikings. That's a great sign from Torrey. He used his legs, fingers through the ball, nice finish. Into the front court comes McGee against Hodge. Steers it to the left wing, throws it to the near hash here. Tucker collects out top, Meyer. Guarded by Johnson. Meyer, out about 24, goes left wing, McGee. Thought about the 20-footer. And he'll put it on the hardwood, send it out top to Jenkins, plus the three. And so he stepped to his left. Gomillion came into him, and he's called for the foul. Foul on Gomillion is first, first against either side. And we've reached our first full timeout here tonight in Cleveland. 14-27 to go in the first half. Vikings the lead 13-8. How about Gomillion to Johnson on the dunk? in downtown greater cleveland aquarium and debella subs the official sub of viking athletics visit csuvikings.com for more information vikings get their first couple of subs in anderson marambo who's been playing a few more minutes per game six foot eight is on the floor so is yahil hill the cleveland heights product they join pat and gomillion and parker for green bay they get uh, japana kellogg on the floor so with jenkins mcgee Tucker, McGee on the right side, and Emmanuel Ansong. McGee fires the jumper from about 18, it's long. Cleveland State the rebound, Patton has it. 13-8 Vikings, as the clock winds near the 14-minute mark here in the first half of the Wolstein Center in Cleveland. Vikings five-point advantage here is their largest. Anderson Marambo takes it, high post right. Cleveland State working against the man-to-man. -man. Now Marambo on the left wing, bounce pass back door to Gomillion, and he was held and tripped by uh, Kamari McGee, foul on McGee, first against Green Bay. So team fouls even at one, 13.51 to go here in the first. Set this play up with the dribble action at the defender, makes the defender freeze, and then we, you know, Cle Cleveland State likes to run that backdoor cut along the baseline. They're so, so skilled at finishing that play off. Parker to inbound, baseline right of the backboard. It's an inside line left to Patton. He has a Viking high five points. He'll bounce to Hill at the left elbow. Step back jumper from 18, front of the iron and off. And the rebound, Jenkins couldn't collect for a moment, but had no competition, so then he's able to find the handle and dribble ahead right to left. He'll head to the right wing. Jenkins stops there, bounce over on the left wing to Tucker. He'll dribble in, throw it out top. Jenkins drives to the right elbow, stops there, pass sideline left to Kellogg. Jumper from 16 is long. Loose ball on the floor off the rebound. Patton picks it up for the Vikings. That'll be his second board. Into the front court, 13-8 Cleveland State. Out top, Gomillion, out about 30 feet. Sends it right sideline to Patton against the man to man. Screen for Marambo. Give and go. Going to give it to him, put it up. No, but Marambo drew the foul. Rather the pick and roll, not the give and go, but Marambo and Patton running it to perfection there. Marambo will shoot the first free throws of the game. The foul on uh, Kellogg, his first team second. I know they have a lot of confidence in Marambo, and he, he's been a great touch for a big man. A little better conditioning, he would be a major threat in this league. 
misses his first free throw. Morambo now just two of seven from the line this year. Score remains 13-8 Cleveland State, 13-11 to go in the first. Stever is back for Green Bay. Jenkins checks out for the Vikings. Parker takes a blow here with four points, and he's replaced by Brock Finstoon, the 6'4 senior from Pine Island, Minnesota. Transfer from Pacific. As Morambo hits the second one to split the pair. His first point, 14-8 Vikings. Steber in the backcourt against three-quarter court pressure. Gomillion and Hill double-team him. Throws it ahead to McGee. He's got to get it across the timeline and does with a second to spare on the right side. Vikings by six. McGee around the screen to the top. He'll send it left wing. Steber sideline left it goes to Tucker. Send it out to McGee, left wing. Nine on the shot clock. Out about 27 feet. McGee going to work on Gomillion. Crossover dribble. Heads to the right elbow. Spins in a lane. Got a float from 10. Put it up. Block Gomillion. Came to Ansong. Jumper from about eight on the left wing. No good. Rebound collected by Fitz. Doing to Patton. Lob to Hill. Catch under the basket. Pump. Shoot. Scores the one-handed shot. Great patience by Hill to get that open look. 16-8 Cleveland State. Hill's first two off the bench. How beautiful is that break? Finston grabs the ball. Throws it in the air up to... Patton, Patton right up the hill, and a quick score. No, ball never hit the floor on that break. And then as uh, Hill was pressuring McGee, he fouled him just as he crossed the timeline with a reach. First foul on Hill, second against Cleveland State. 12.24 to go before halftime. 16-8 Vikings. Patton will take a rest here. Hodge comes back for Cleveland State. Torrey Patton sits down with five points, two boards, two assists. He's a perfect two of two from the field. Inbounds comes to McGee on the right wing versus Hill. Vikings remain in a man-to-man. -man. Leaders by eight. Now McGee drops the ball, picks it up on the left wing. Get it out top to Kellogg. Kellogg against Marambo outside the arc right wing. Bounce pass at sideline right to Tucker. He'll dribble out top. Nine on the shot clock. Send it in the free throw line area to Ansong. In the lane, he shuffled his feet as he pumped. And he's called for traveling. Made the basket, but wave it off. Cleveland State ball on the Green Bay turnover. That is their second tonight. When you hesitate, sometimes you lose. That time he should have just floated the little jump hook up. Thought he was going to get blocked. Marambo out to a round of applause and to replace him, Spider Johnson. He's becoming a fan favorite around him. He has. Him and Maborba Jacques. Fans here in Cleveland love them both. Johnson on the left wing, over to Hill on the right wing behind the arc, finds Hodge. Wide open off a screen, left wing, triple in the air, swish! Des Moines Hodge off that screen was wide open. 19-8 Cleveland State, Hodge's first bucket tonight. He came in averaging nearly 16. I saw Coach Gay's point at one of his assistants who called that play out there. That's, yep. that's great coaching, great team coaching over there. Out top, it's Steber. He'll send a left sideline McGee. Down low to Kellogg, stepping in front is Hodge. But he got a piece of Kellogg, and he's called for the foul. Des Moines Hodge picks up his first personal, third against Cleveland State, full timeout on the floor with 11 minutes and 31 seconds to go in the half. As you take a look at the foul, we'll take you to break. 19-8, Cleveland State. Here with you in Cleveland, 19-8. Cleveland State alongside Pat Vianchik. I'm Al Pulowski. Boy, when Hodge gets that open, he's tough to see him make it a, or seeing him miss that wide open. He yeah, read he the defender. Does. He saw the defender slid under the screen, so he flared out off the double down, and uh, just man, when he does, you're right. When he doesn't hesitate out, it's beautiful to watch. Green Bay hasn't scored in the last three and a half minutes. It was a Meyer field goal at the 15:02 mark. Since then, a six-nothing run by Cleveland State. It's McGee, Meyer, Jenkins, Steber, and Ansong on the floor for Green Bay. For Cleveland State, Johnson, Gomillion, Hill, Finstoon, and Hodge. Green Bay with the basketball. Steber on the left wing in the front court against the Viking man-to-man. -man. Guarded by Gomillion. Sends it right side. Jenkins puts it on the hardwood. He'll give it out to McGee. Now on the right wing. About 35 out. Nine on the shot clock. Working on Gomillion. He'll drive. Got by him. Got in the lane. Left-handed shot. Tosses it up and in. Kamari McGee is first two. He came in averaging 11. 19-10 Vikings. First bucket for Green Bay since the 15-minute mark. That was pretty. Tough, tough body adjustment on that finish. Vikings by nine. Hill in the front court against the Phoenix man-to-man. -man. Sends it high post left. Johnson waits for cutters. Nobody available. Gives it back to Hill. He'll drive into the lane. Hook it up to Johnson. Catch, dunk, and foul! Oh. Wow, Spider! 
with a great dunk. Stever was underneath him, couldn't do anything. He undercut him a little bit. He got whistled for the foul. 21 to 10, Cleveland State, a free throw coming for Johnson. Spider, if all, he, all he needed was a cape on this play to, to sincerely look like a superhero. Watch him get up and go almost horizontal over the defender to dunk that. Actually, that was Meyer. That is beautiful. And Meyer got the foul. That's his first team's third. Johnson makes the free throw, 22-10, Cleveland State. It's the icing on the cake when your big man also can finish with a, a finesse free throw. A couple of monster dunks early for Spider Johnson. He has four, rather now five points with the made free throw. Vikings up by a dozen, 10.40 left first half. McGee against Hodge, over on the right sideline, picks the dribble up, looking down low, nothing there. Sends it out to Ansel, guarded by Hill. Back on the right side, McGee. Out top, Stever, lob down low, catch by Meyer, pump, shoots, scores, and fouled. Wow, what a job by Meyer. He has four, looking for five at the line. Got two defenders in the air. It's 22-12 off the make, and he drew a foul as well. Thought he shuffled his feet first. Yeah, he did, but he got away with it. Good finish. Fouls on Gomillion. That's his second team's fourth. He'll check out. In the replace him, Torrey Patton. So 22-12 Cleveland State to the line to our left. Cade Meyer shoots 74% from the line this year. Cade, a 6'8 freshman from Monroe, Wisconsin. Puts it up and in all net. He has a nice touch on his shot. He's going to be a nice player in this league for a few years. Certainly. 22-13 Vikings. Green Bay, a young team, one of the youngest in the, in the country. But they've got some talented youngsters, as we've seen on display already here tonight. Vikings with more experience, though, are up by nine. Hodge on the left wing. Sends it sideline left, Patton. He bluffs, drives to the baseline, stops there as he's cut off, gives it to Hodge. Hodge will drive in to the lane. Jump step, going to the basket, stripped. Taken away by Green Bay. McGee comes the other way. Vikings by nine. Midway through the first half. McGee drives on Patton. Going to try to pass it. Got it out to Ansong. Top side, Jenkins. Won't take the open three. Drives instead down the lane. Floater in the air. Hit the back iron and off. Patton, the Viking board. He'll come left to right for Cleveland State. Vikings by nine, gives to Finstoon. He'll drive into the lane, cut off with a bump, put it up and in off the window. So Meyer came over and bumped him, and Finstoon knocked it in anyhow. 24-13, Cleveland State. Veteran move by Finstoon. Let the defense flow past him. Got a good look at it, and then picked his timing there perfectly. Jenkins will get it to Stieber on the left wing. Now to Ansong, who drives baseline, cut off, sends it out to Stieber, bluffs the three, but Finstoon on him, gives to Meyer in the lane. Turnaround shot from 12, partially deflected by Patton, grabbed by Finstoon. Cleveland State runs. Green Bay is back. Vikings up by 11. Give it to Hill. Left wing three-pointer in rhythm is long. Johnson keeps it alive. Loose ball goes off of Boom. Well, they're going to give it to Green Bay. It appeared that Finstoon might have knocked it off Meyer at the last moment. But was Finstoon on the floor? Let's take a look. You know, this, is, this is how you crash the boards, though. Great job by two Vikes. He was... Oh, boy, that was off Green yeah, Bay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Green Bay gets a break there. They trail by 11, 9.07 to go. Great replay this first by half. our crew there, huh? Their crew right is on it. top notch. No doubt about that. Andrew Jersek directing tonight. Corey Shy and the rest of the crew. They hit the slow, the slow tempo to get a good look at it. Yep, here's Meyer down low, and he lays it in. So, Meyer has seven. That is good enough for the game. High, 24-15, Vikings by nine. 8.45 to go first half here at the Wolstein. Hit the ball, high post right to Johnson for the Vikings versus the Green Bay man-to-man. -man. Flip it to Hodge. Hodge around the screen to the free throw line. Jumper, swish. He's got five. Des Moines Hodge. A couple of good jump shots in the early going. 26-15, Vikings by 11. Cleveland State is one of the few teams in this country that uses the old scissors cut off the high post. It is such an old play, but they really execute it with efficiency and effectiveness. All, all the time, really. Steber a lob back door, bringing it down is Ansong, and then putting it up and in off the window. Manuel Ansong with eight. He's the game's leading scorer. 26-17, Vikings. As we approach the eight-minute mark here of the first half. High post right, it's Johnson again. Johnson takes some dribbles over the left elbow, gonna flip it there to Hodge. Hodge gets a screen from Johnson, goes to the line, looks for help, finds Patton out at the right point. He'll put it up from 27, swish! Patton from long distance has eight. He's perfect from the field. Cleveland State up by a dozen, their largest lead, 29-17. Torrey really works hard on that. He's not real consistent, but tonight he's on fire. Here's Meyer out top, runs into the lane, got away with a walk, lays it up, no. Ansong the rebound, put it up and in. Bucket by Ansong, gets him 10, 29-19, Cleveland State. 
Ansong is really an athlete. Yeah, he certainly is. He's having a good start to the game. He, again, he came in averaging 12. He already has 10. Vikings by 10. Johnson to Parker on the right wing. Parker gives to Johnson. On the block, spins there, going up, got stripped. Myers got the ball up ahead. McGee, two on two, slows it down, flips it to Ansong. Ansong dribbles into the lane, kick it out sideline right. Jenkins sets for the three, high arcing shot, back iron, goes high in the air and comes down in the bucket. Shooter's touch for Nate Jenkins. And it's a seven point game, 29-22 Cleveland State. 6.52 to go first half. Impressed with Green Bay, I thought Cleveland State was really gonna push the lead out, but Quick look down low, Patton from Parker lays it up and in off the pump fake. He has 10, 31-22. And now we've got a whistle and a timeout on the floor. We'll take a break. Six minutes, 41 seconds to go. First three-pointer tonight. 31-22, Cleveland State by nine. Hey, Cleveland State, 24-hour day of giving is scheduled for Wednesday, February 16th. You can find out more by visiting csugivingday.com. That's Wednesday, February 16th. Athletic Director Scott Garrett will join me at the half to talk about CSU Giving Day and much more, so make sure you stick around. So Vikings many lead really by nine. They've got 13 field goals and 13 assists. Yeah, they're uh, you know they're really executing well. Yeah, you see what they're shooting from the field? 81%. Yeah. Green Bay 10 of 21 from the field, 48%. Not bad at all, but and they're all at the rim. Cleveland State's I think one of the top teams in the country at scoring at the rim, and and uh, I know their numbers reflect that in this game as well. Full court pressure for Cleveland State, but. You Mari McGee able to run it into the front court on the right sideline. And then Parker knocks it away, loose ball. McGee dives and gets it over to Meyer, drives the lane, kick out Jenkins, left wing. Another high arcing triple in the air, swish! This one, no shooter's touch needed. He's got six, Green Bay's within six. 31-25 CSU, 6.18 to go in the first half. Fikes a little bit slow on the recovery after the loose ball. Lob down Loma Rambo, catches it deep, takes a dribble, puts it up, blocked and fouled by Cade Meyer, who got him on the arm. Colin Meyer is his second. That'll be the fourth against Green Bay with 6.12 to go in the half. Marambo back to the line to shoot two. I love how he kept the ball up. Actually, that's on Steber. Yeah. Steber reached in for the foul. A little up and under move. Spider Johnson, if he could add that to his game, he'd score a lot more in there too. Marambo has all the tools. Just so, you know, if he gets in a little bit, you know, he keeps working at it, he'll, he'll get more minutes. Parker out, he'll in. Marambo sinks the first free throw. He's got two points, looking for his third here. The line to the right, up it goes, swish. 33-25, Cleveland State by eight, but Green Bay set a couple of three-pointers in a row, courtesy of Nate Jenkins. To stay in this game, we'll keep it at single digits. McGee in the front court against Hill, six minutes to go, first half. Vikings lead by eight, McGee dribbles to the left elbow, stops there, throws it sideline left to Stever, cross-court pass to Tucker. His three-pointer is long. Yael Hill, the Cleveland State rebound. He races ahead, throws it to Hodge in the front court. Sideline left to Pat. He'll drive baseline. Bounce to the corner right. Woodridge for three. Got it. Woodridge in rhythm, wide open. Cleveland State will take that look every time. 36-25 Vikings. Torrey Pat knew he was going to make that pass five seconds before everybody else did. Another assist as he's working on that triple-double. Hodge a steal. Picks McGee's pocket up to Patton. Two on one, back to Hodge. Behind him, though, and out of bounds. The Vikings may be guilty of an overpass. Fourth turnover for Cleveland State. 5.36 to go in the half. 36-25, Vikings. Coach Gates over there. Here's that pass I was talking about. He knew he was drawing that help and was setting Woodridge would, would up for that three. Um, but on that last play, the turnover on the fast break, Coach Gates doesn't mind that because they want this tempo fast. They'll live with a turnover occasionally. Here's Tucker, drives to baseline, cut off by Marambo, got it out to Stever down low. Meyer deep, put it up, blocked Marambo, but came right to Tucker. He'll throw it out top, deflected ball, two on the shot clock, McGee grabs it, throws it right sideline, jumper is no good, and it got off in time. Marambo got the rebound though for Cleveland State. Up to Hill, Hill racing ahead. Hill stops right of the key, in the lane he goes, stops, goes down, trips. 
by Randy Tucker. First foul on Tucker, fifth against Green Bay. Cleveland State will have it out of bounds with 4.51 to go before halftime, and the Vikings leaders by 11. Yeah, Hell Hill, uh, I think, is going to be one of the keys for the Vikes down the stretch here going into the tournament. When he brings that punch, that offensive punch off the bench, the Vikes are hard to beat. Hill looking to inbound here on the baseline, looking, looking, bouncing into Marambo, left wing out 15 feet or so. Bounces that out on the left wing behind the arc. To Hill, over to Woodridge, straight away, three-pointer from 24 is off the right side, iron no good. Cade Meyer has the Green Bay rebound and hands off to Jenkins. Races ahead against Hodge, Mike's by 11. Continues to drive, goes to the block, stops there, kicks it out, deflected ball, Patton steals. Patton going one on two. Patton going to the rack. Patton puts it up, good off the window. Patton just willed his way to the rim. He's got 12, a game high, Vikings up by 13. One of the best in the country at taking a hit as he's going to do his motion, not losing his balance and using the backboard to finish. Jenkins on the left wing against Woodridge, dribbles to the free throw line, sends it right sideline, McGee dribbles in, jumper from 15, swish in rhythm. Great jumper by Kamari McGee from about 16 feet. He's got four, 38-27 Cleveland State. Impressed with Green Bay's ability to answer Cleveland State's runs. Marambo on the right wing. Marambo back in down Meyer, into the lane. Jump stop, lost the ball. Taken away by Steber. Steber tries to counter. It's a four on two now. Steber in the front court. Gives to Tucker. Throws it up good off the windows. He went into the air and just tossed it in off the window against Hill. Tucker with that basket as his first points off the bench. He has two. 38-29 Cleveland State. 3.33 to go first half. Pat front court on the left side. He's going to try the long triple around the rim and out. Oh. Went around three times and then popped out. <laughs> Shot that from the hash mark and almost drained it. He's feeling it. Green Bay the rebound. Vikings by nine. McGee in the front court around a screen. McGee to the right of the key. Going to lean in against Marambo. Forced it up. No. And then as he goes down, he drew a late whistle. And he'll go to the line and shoot two. The foul on Anderson Marambo. His first. Team's fifth. Full time out on the floor. A couple of free throws coming for McGee when we come back. Here's Torrey Patton on the run out. Takes the hit. Uses the glass. And, and one, usually. 38 29, Mikes. We're back after this. Any year, any condition. Uh, Tory Pat, watch this ball go around the rim. <laughs> One, two, oh three, my. and out it goes. <laughs> Few physics professors watching that could probably can explain why that lesson. happened. Indeed. Uh, Cleveland State is now 15 of 20 from the field. They are four of five. Uh, four of their five misses have been on three pointers, but they're four of eight on three. So the Vikings shooting incredibly well from the field. Yeah. Green Bay, not bad. 48% from the field, two of five behind the arc. Vikes by nine. He's Pat Vianchik. I'm Al Pulowski. Scott Garrett, Cleveland State Athletic Director, will join us at the half. At the free throw line to my left were a couple of free throws. Randy Tucker, who is 10 of 13 from the line. That, oh, check. Kamari McGee, who is shooting 83% from the line this year. He'll uh, be joined on the floor by Meyer, Tucker, Jenkins, and Anson. Cleveland State with Parker, Patton, Woodrich, Johnson, and Hill. First of two for McGee is right there. McGee with an awfully nice rotation on his shots. Give him five points now to make it 38-30. Young player that's got a ton of potential. Yeah, he's got a soft touch, adjusts his body to finish in the lane, and makes his free throws. So six, so he makes them both. Vikings lead back down to seven. Parker will bring it ahead for Cleveland State as we approach the three-minute mark here in this first half. Both teams have been in a man-to-man -man throughout. Patton has it on the left wing. Patton around a Johnson screen, picks it up on the right wing, looks for help. Waiting for Woodridge, flips it to him, also on the right wing. Woodridge dribbles, sends it out, Spider Johnson. He'll take it to the left wing, flip to Hill there. Hill will dribble to the free throw line, pull up and shoot the jumper in and out. Rebound, Woodridge kept it alive as uh, Meyer had it, but Woodridge got a piece of Meyer. He's called for the foul. First foul on Woodridge, sixth against Cleveland State. Green Bay basketball. Again, you'll live with this foul because Woodridge is hustling to, to rebound. He just scrapes the arm on the attempt. So he's getting blocked out. He stays with the play. Just a little bit late getting there, but that's excellent hustle. Tucker will bring it ahead for Green Bay. Who trails Cleveland State by seven here tonight at the Wolstein Center in Cleveland. Go out of the right wing against the man-to-man. -man. Flip it there to Jenkins.
in a man-to-man -man throughout. Patton has it on the left wing. Patton around a Johnson screen, picks it up on the right wing, looks for help, waiting for Woodridge, flips it to him, also on the right wing. Woodridge dribbles, sends it out, Spider Johnson. He'll take it to the left wing, flip to Hill there. Hill will dribble to the free throw line, pull up and shoot the jumper in and out. Rebound, Woodridge kept it alive as uh, Meyer had it, but Woodridge got a piece of Meyer. He's called for the foul. First foul on Woodridge, sixth against Cleveland State. Green Bay basketball. Again, you'll live with this foul because Woodridge is hustling to, to rebound. He just scrapes the arm on the attempt. So he's getting blocked out. He stays with the play. Just a little bit late getting there, but that's excellent hustle. Tucker will bring it ahead for Green Bay. Who trails Cleveland State by seven here tonight at the Wolstein Center in Cleveland. He'll head to the right wing against the man-to-man. -man. Flip it there to Jenkins. Guarded by Patton. Sends it sideline left. McGee. Thought about the three, still thinking about it. McGee is guarded by Hill. Now will pull up and shoot a 12-footer on the baseline. It's in and out. Johnson, the Viking board. Gets it out to Parker. 38-31 Vikings. Front court to Patton, left sideline. Hooks a pass down to Woodridge. Reverse layup never got up because Jenkins clobbered him to make sure he wouldn't get the easy layup. What a pass by Torrey Patton. I'll tell you what. This kid just does so many things well. All the little things for the Vikings. Yep, he does. Jenkins, his first personal foul. Seventh against Green Bay. Woodridge to the line to our right to shoot two. Jason shooting just 55% from the line this year. Trying to find that free throw line rhythm. First of two up. Good. 39-31 CSU with 2.17 left first half. Watch this pass. I mean, that is, <laughs> that is such a tough interior pass to make. Torrey has this great ball. He has great awareness of everything that's going on out on the floor. Woodridge looked great on those two free throws. Made them both. 40-31, Cleveland State by nine. Their largest first half lead, 13. Green Bay's largest lead today thus far. Two points. As Jenkins crosses the timeline with the jaw, guarded by Patton. Steers it to the right wing. Comes back to the top around the screen. Stops at the left point. Underhanded pass to the right wing. And Tucker for three. It's long. Jumping high for the board is Parker for Cleveland State. Up to Patton. Flying into the front court. Phoenix are back, though. Sends it to Parker. He'll go corner right hill. Open for three. Jump shot. Missed it long. Rebound. Johnson tips it out to Parker. Parker dribbles in. Hooks a pass. Corner left. Woodridge. Open for three. Up it goes. Front iron and off. Rebound collected by McGee. He'll bring it ahead for the Phoenix. 40-31 Cleveland State. McGee runner in the lane from 10 off the right side iron. No good. Another rebound for Spider Johnson. His fifth. Up to Patton in the front court. He'll drive. Patton forced it up. Blocked. Got it back. Baseline right. Throws it out to Parker. Sideline left. Woodridge puts it on the hard Wood. Bounces it down low. Johnson. Johnson turns, goes into the lane. Gonna hook up a little one-handed oh. shot. Is good. Johnson, nice little individual move against Meyer. He's got seven. Vikings lead at 11. A minute 14 to go in the half. Little reverse shimmy shake to, to get the defender off balance and spun back to a strong hand. Beautiful move. Just like you used to do in the Kevin <laughs> Mackey era here at Cleveland State. I didn't have that much finesse. No, you're right. <laughs> I was trying to give you some credit, but. Now, now Clinton Ramsey, who's yeah, going into that. the Hall of Fame tomorrow night, he could do that. Here's Tucker for three, left wing, it's long. Vikings a rebound, Hill looking to run. He's three on four, slows it down, flips to Patton right wing, bluffs the jumper, drives in, beat his man, got to the rack, but then he was too far under, tried to pass it out and stolen. Two on one the other way. McGee, Hansong, kabam! Hansong dunks it home, he's got a dozen. 42-33 Cleveland State, 35 seconds to go in the half. And now Green Bay wants a timeout as uh, Parker was tying his shoe and Green Bay had to use it or lose it. So Will Ryan says, let's use it here. 42-33 Cleveland State, 34.3 to go in the half. So there'll be a 4.3 differential shot in game clock. Good break here by Green Bay. So they really set that up nicely. Parker had no chance to defend Ansong on that lob. How about Emmanuel Ansong today? Green wow. Bay's leading scorer yeah. with 12 points. He's six of eight from the field. He also has three boards. Vikings led by Torrey Patton who's five of seven from the field and two of three behind the arc. He has 12 points, four boards, four assists. Check out Magnus. Magnus. He's got a little rhythm. He does? For a Viking. Okay. You know? Hey. All right. Look at him. He's okay. Oh, okay. oh he's working on his form to train in the fans a little bit in the background. A hey, mascot of the people. I swear he knows everybody here. Yeah, he's uh, he prolific. He visits with everybody. He is. Prolific. I guess that is a mascot's job, though, is to <laughs> be friendly to everyone, and he certainly is. Parker, Hill, Patton, Chris Green has checked in, and Jason Woodridge for Cleveland State. Steber, McGee, Jenkins, Ansong, Meyer. 2-3 zone for Green Bay. First time we've seen it. So Will Ryan says, let's give you a little bit different look here. Sean Parker dribbling it at the center floor logo. Again, there's a 4.3 second differential shot in game clock. Shot clock at 10. 
Vikings get into it, gives to Patton left wing, gives it back to Parker left wing. Six to shoot, out top Woodridge to the free throw line and Patton. Turn around, one-handed shot from there is good. 44-33, Cleveland State, three seconds left. Inbounds and a bad one out of bounds. Cleveland State ball, 1.2 on the clock. Steber went down court. Tucker thought he was coming back for it. Green Bay throws it away. How about, now, how about the execution against the zone there? Now that ball is on the sideline, not the baseline? Yeah. Sideline. Nobody, so somebody had to touch it then, correct? You're right, Al. Should Barrier be on the baseline and nobody touched it. So they're going to give it to him on the sideline. 1.2 to go in the first half. Vikings lead it 11, 44-33. Shot clock off. Be a lob. Catch by Gomillion. Comes down, takes a dribble, fades on the jumper, hit the rim and off. May not have counted anyway. It would have been close from about 12 feet. So the first half has come to a close here at the Wolstein Center in Cleveland, and the Vikings have a 44-33 lead. Stay tuned at the half. Athletic director for Cleveland State, Scott Garrick, will join me. Vikings by 11. We'll take this timeout right here. I am not a bounty hunter. check them both for free yes fix finder the most complete free warning light report backed by technician verified fixes you put the sandwich in the dip brisket bacon beef and swiss you put the sandwich in the dip brisket couple of weeks from now, Cleveland State will be up in Green Bay. Some highlights for you from the first half of Spider Johnson. A couple of monster dunks. There's one of them. He's got seven points, five rebounds. But uh, playing well inside for Green Bay is Kate Meyer. He has seven points today. There's Des Moines Hodge for Cleveland State. As uh, Des Moines only taken uh, three shots, but he's made two of them. He's got five points, two assists. Tory Patton from long range. He has a game high 14 points. He's six of eight from the field. Nate Jenkins, a couple of three pointers for Green Bay. He checks in with six points here at the half for the Phoenix. There's another triple for Jenkins. So Cleveland stay with a 44 33 advantage on the Green Bay Phoenix. They've got Milwaukee coming to town on Sunday afternoon, 3 o'clock here at the Wolstein Center. Green Bay will uh, move on. They'll play Purdue Ford Wayne this Sunday. Welcome back on the iHeartRadio app, NEO Sports Network. Thanks for joining us for our simulcast. Alongside Pat Bianchik, I'm Al Pulowski. 44-33, Cleveland State by 11. Pat, ultimately the offense has been the key point for Cleveland State. At one point, they were at 81% from the field. They're at 65% here at the half. Green Bay shooting 44% from the field in the first half as we get a look here at our stats for you. Three-pointers. Vikings uh, also doing well there. Four of nine behind the arc while Green Bay is two for seven. Neither team has turned the ball over a lot. Check out the bench scoring, though. Cleveland State a plus 10. Yeah, when the Vikings are at the best game, they're running, they're getting high percent of shots, and their bench is productive. Cleveland stayed with the basketball to begin the second half. Same starting five on the floor for both teams. Down low, here's Hodge. He gets to the window and scores it. So it's Hodge, Johnson, Patton, Parker, and Gomillion for Cleveland State. Vikings 46, Green Bay 33 for the Phoenix. McGee, Steber, Meyer, and Song Jenkins. As Jenkins races in the front court against Gomillion. 
Now Meyer with the basketball. Man-to-man -man hey. D for Cleveland State. Clinton Ramsey. Top, it's McGee. All right, here Cleveland he is. Cleveland State Hall of Famer right. joining us here. Now McGee oh out top. <laughs> McGee sends it over on the left sideline. Here's Steber over to Ansong for three with three to shoot. Misses it long. Cleveland State will get the rebound. Come ahead with a 13-point lead. Go million. They'll go corner right. Hodge on the right wing. Parker. Parker spins inside the arc, goes out top, Johnson. Johnson dribbles to the left wing. Sideline left, Patton. He'll take it to the free throw line. Backdoor cut, Parker knocked away by Green Bay, but came to Hodge, takes a dribble, goes up with some contact. No basket, and the ball comes out to Emmanuel Ansong. 46-33, Cleveland State. 18.48 to go. Steber bluffs the three, steps in, curls a pass in the lane. Ansong makes the catch. Going to go up with it after a pause and scored with a one-handed jumper. Ansong continues his strong night. He has 14. 46-35, Cleveland State. He does not miss <laughs> in those tight spaces. He's really good, Ansong. Yeah, Ansong now 7 of 9 from the field. Here's Parker on the right wing. Vikings lead at 11 to Hodge in the corner and reaching in. Kamari McGee, first foul of the second half against either side, and for McGee, his second personal foul. You know, I love how Green Bay has hung in there. They've stayed within, you know, 10 points of Cleveland State. I really think Cleveland State, to go to the next level, they have to be able to push their 10, 11 leads out to 18 and 20 some nights. They got to, they, they had the opportunity in Northern Kentucky and didn't do it last weekend. Johnson gets it back door. Parker into the basket, pumps a couple of times, takes a dribble, puts it up, blocked, and the ball comes out to Ansong. Flying ahead. Ansong racing to the basket. What's going to go up with a shot, but Hodge Ooh. stopped it with a foul. He got him on the arm, and then Hodge tries to stop Ansong from any further possible injury as he went hard into our cameraman. Great sportsmanship. He's going for the ball. He thinks he's going to bring it down. He just reaches for the ball. No intention to harm, and look at him help him up. And I love that. Love that in the college game. So Ansong will get a couple of free throws at the line to the right. First free throws tonight for Emmanuel Ansong. He's shooting 68% from the line this year. Vikings lead 46-35. Ansong with 14 points misses the first one. It's the only miss. Well, one of the few misses he's had tonight. Yeah, he's 7 of 10 from the field as Parker checks out. Hill checks in. The last foul on Hodge was his second. It's the first against Cleveland State in the second half. There's Parker taking a blow here with four points. Next free throw is good by Ansong. So he splits the pair. He has a game high 15 points. And the Vikings lead at 10, 46-36. They've led by as many as 13. Once in the first half, once here in the second. It's Johnson with it, high post left. He'll give to Gomillion on the right wing behind the arc. Dribbling the basketball about 28 feet away. Gives to Hodge off a screen. Settles and fires the three-point jumper. It's, hits the iron and comes to the left sideline where it's run down by Nate Jenkins of Green Bay. Deerfield, Wisconsin native. will bring it ahead against Hill. Cleveland State by 10. He'll get it to Cade Meyer. Left wing, 30 feet out. He'll go sideline left to Ansong. Ansong on the dribble. Goes sideline left. Steber bounce it down low. Meyer got deep. Scores the layup. Meyer with nine. 46-38 Cleveland State. 17-30 left. Spider Johnson did not rotate back to his man quickly enough off of the, the show on the pick and roll. Johnson has it high post left. This man, Myers, playing well off him in the lane. Now Johnson in trouble, loses the ball. Jenkins stole it. Johnson is called for the reach. Foul on Johnson is his first. Second against the Vikings in the second half. 17-15 to go, 46-38 Cleveland State. Again, Green Bay just scrapping and scrapping. It looked like the Vikings were going to run the lead out, but here they force another turnover. Marambo will check in for Johnson, who checks out with seven points, five rebounds. That's a team high and three assists. Marambo in for him. The front court, McGee. Eight-point lead for the Vikings as Green Bay tries to put together a run. They scored the last five points. Jenkins out top off a handoff. Sideline left to Steber, who dribbles in. Gets it out to Jenkins. Behind the back dribble. Goes to the left elbow. Jumper from there. Barely hit the rim. Marambo, the Cleveland State rebound. Up to Hodge. Lost the basketball. Picks it up. Throws it ahead now to Patton, left wing. Patton dribbles to the right elbow. Kicks it out to Gomillion by the right hash. Gomillion on the dribble. Right sideline. Man-to-man D for Green Bay. He'll dribble it on the lane. Stop. Jumper from 12. Back iron it off. Rebound Jenkins for Green Bay. So the Vikings made their first field goal attempt, but they've missed their last three here in the second half. Steber down low. Meyer left-handed layup. No. But a late whistle and a foul on Morambo. Foul on Morambo was his first third against Cleveland State. Nice pass up ahead. A beautiful pass. No hesitation. 
nice slow whistle by the official. You know, the Vikes, you know, again, they, they have to learn. They build that lead. They got to then build it some more. They just sort of relax. They just don't keep their foot on the gas pedal enough for me. Meyer to the line to the right. Misses the first one. Cade Meyer on the season, 74% from the strike. Cade Meyer, a good game tonight. Nine points, two boards, three assists thus far. Green Bay, four of six at the free throw line tonight. Cleveland State, six of seven. One more free throw for Meyer is on the way. That is on the front iron, side iron, and in. 46-39 Vikings. A 13-point lead down to seven. Six-point run for the Phoenix. 16-28 to go in regulation. In the front court go million against the man-to-man. Out -to -man. Tom Looking for Hill, finds him sideline right, pressured by McGee, steals the ball. Wow. That's Hill never really had it, so another Cleveland State turnover, their eighth and their third of the second half. Now Jenkins in the front court. Green Bay trying to cut into a seven point lead. Hand off Steber right wing. Parker on him. Steber out top, tried to pass it in. Parker knocks it away and steals. Parker comes the other way, four on four. Finds Hill on the right wing. Stutter step move, going to the rack, out there, scores. Great little stop start move by Yahiel Hill. So he scored it off the window with the nifty layup. And Hill with four points off the bench. 48-39, Cleveland State. Went back against the grain as the defense flowed back. He cut back the other way. Here's McGee on the right wing. Out top, Meyer for Green Bay. Hands it off Jenkins. Jenkins has a couple of triples tonight. He'll try to spin it in the lane. It's stolen by Gomillion. Up to Patton. One on two, two on three. Now Patton to the rack, stripped by Jenkins. Out of bounds. Cleveland State ball. And we'll take a full timeout. 15 minutes, 32 seconds remain in regulation. To take a look at Parker finding Hill, who would find the basket here off the drive. Cleveland State in the lead, 48 39. All appointments call 833-406-CARE. Back here on ESPN Plus. Cleveland State 48, Green Bay 39 with Pat Bianchek. I'm Al Pulowski. Green Bay trying to run a little two-man game there. Vikings with the steal. Pat here gets stripped by Jenkins cleanly. And Cleveland State will have the ball off the timeout. Parker will inbound. He's got Marambo. Gomillion, Hill, and Patton on the floor. Green Bay with uh, Kellogg back on the floor. Stever, Jenkins, and Song. And McGee. Cleveland State at the 641 mark of the first half was shooting 81%. Now it's down to 59%. Inbounds comes to Gomillion in the lane. Turnaround shot from five feet, no good. Green Bay's got the rebound. The Vikings cold shooting in the second half continues. Green Bay with the ball. They trail the Vikings by nine, 15, 20 left. Front court, Stever stripped by Parker. Loose ball in the backcourt. Pat running after it. He'll get there in the corner. Now he looks for help. Goes cross court to Hill. Wide open in the corner. Triple try. Swish. Boy, Hill went right to a wide open corner. Patton found him. Seven for Hill. Another assist for Patton. His fifth helper tonight. 51-39 yeah. CSU. An example of Torrey Patton's court awareness. He saw Hill filling from the left side and knew as soon as he picked it up, he was going to skip it over to him. He's such a winner. Seven points tonight for Hill off the bench. Here's McGee out top for Green Bay. Crosses over. Drives in the lane. Going to the rack. Left-handed shot off the window. No good. Marambo, the Cleveland State rebound. Up to Hill. Hill in the front court to Parker. Stops on the left wing. Cross court finds Gomillion. In the corner open. Three-pointer. Good. Cleveland State hitting the corner. Triples to find some heat. Yeah, they are. Six straight points. Gives the Vikings their largest lead. 54-39 with 14.25 left. It's when they're at their best. Running and shooting. Gomillion with that three-pointer. Has five. Out top, it's Kellogg against the man-to-man. -man. Left wing, Jenkins. Dribbles to the top, goes sideline left, Steber. Steber versus Gomillion. Bounce it down low, Kellogg. He's doubled, kicks it out, sideline left, Jenkins. Now Steber at the top of the key. Left wing, Jenkins, bluffs the three, dribbles in, out to Steber. Right side, McGee, catch and shoot, triple up. Front of the iron and off. Loose ball on the rebound, Patton has it. Three on three the other way. Patton behind the back, dribble, down the lane, stripped from behind as Ansong hustled to catch up and knock it away. Steber has the basketball for the Phoenix, but the Vikings lead at 15. 54-39, 13-45 left. Here's Steber on the drive, scores it off the window. Lucas Steber, his first basket tonight to go with a game-high five assists 
54-41. Cleveland State, 13-32 left. Nice pass by Kellogg there. There's Marambo on the left wing inside the arc. Flips it over to Parker. Comes around a Marambo screen at the free throw line. Bounce it down low, Marambo. Right back out to Parker. Parker looking for Hill. Wide open, Gray fine lays it in. A touch left-handed, no-look pass to Hill, who's got nine off a Gray cut, but Parker with a nifty dish. He's got three assists. 56-41 CSU. So it makes Cleveland State so hard to beat, too. They're so unselfish. Every man tries to hook up their teammate. Here's Ansong on the baseline against Gomillion. Gives it free throw line, Kellogg driving in on Marambo. Stripped from behind Hill. Stolen Parker into the front court. Running into him is Jenkins and a foul on Hill. Yeah. Both officials saw it the same way, too. He just but rather on Parker. The yeah, Parker. He stuck the elbow out. I'll tell you, uh, here's the a, here's a pick up, pick by uh, Hill there. Hill has brought a lot of energy in this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, they might even call that a flagrant, huh? They're going to go take a look at it. Yeah. So an offensive foul on Parker, the fourth against Cleveland State here in the second half. That is his first personal foul tonight. So they're going to review the play to check for the elbow. 56-41, uh. Cleveland State, 12:54 to go. I mean, it won't. It won't be an intentional. It, it'll, you know, if anything, it'll be, an, you know, flagrant one, I believe, right? Yeah, we'll see. We'll if see anything. what the what the yeah, decision is. So we're going to look at it here from this angle. Oh, I think he sold it a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, I think the more across the chest. That replay yeah, will show yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was. These kids the are so good at that these days. They, <laughs> they just know how to sell the call. There was oh. some contact on the chin, but the majority of contact that appeared from that replay we showed yeah. you, judging by that, hit him in the chest. So they'll. Yeah. Officials tonight will continue to look at it. They've done a nice job. Yeah. So Here's a look at it again. So yeah, he hit I mean, him in the chin first and then it, down to the chest. It was a, look, I took a real elbow to the cho chops from Doug Schutz at Akron one time, and it was a real elbow. And I'll tell you what, I still didn't go down. I saw stars. These guys right. are always flopping their head back and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, we'll different, see. different generation, I guess. But it's definitely some contact. And the cannot just joining us, it is an offensive foul yeah. on Parker. They're checking for the degree the foul there's the conversation I had to drink all my uh, my meals from a straw for about two weeks after that I, I'm not exaggerating either. <laughs> yeah. look at some of the fans here tonight in Cleveland coming out crowd of about 2,000 or so was expected even with the pure poor weather gotta agree there Green Bay's got to be thinking a lot of times we go to Green Bay and it's it's cold it's snowy they're thinking, wait a minute, we're coming down to Cleveland. <laughs> this is like what we have in Green Bay. They brought it with them, Al. It's their fault. They certainly did. After review, we have a flagrant one foul. We have unnecessary contact to the head area. We're going to shoot two shots as they fall uh, within the backcourt at the foul. It's going to be inbounded in the backcourt. Full 30 seconds on the clock. Thank you. All right, so it is a flagrant one because there was contact to the head, unnecessary. And by rule, you cannot make contact to the head. Right. So it's a flagrant one. Two free throws for Green Bay and then they will have the ball. So uh, Jenkins will get the free throws. He is 15 of 19 on the year, 79%. 56-41 the score. Cleveland State by 15 at the moment. Jenkins at the line to the right. Get a couple of free throws, makes the first one. He went to shake hands. Nobody was there. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> you know, it's just a uh, it, habit, you know? Yeah, it's a habit now. <laughs> after, after every make, he's got to walk in and you have high fives. Nice job, though, making them count. So Jenkins makes them both. Green Bay will have the basketball. 56-43. It is in the backcourt, as you uh, may have heard it explained. Again, Green Bay just, you know, they just find a way to hang in there. Young team. That's a good sign for a young team. They'll mature over the next year or two and be able to, you know, win some of these, these games. McGee into the front court against Hodge. Cleveland State remains in the man-to-man. 13-point -man. lead for the Vikings. Green Bay running a little bit of a weep motion here to the right wing. It's McGee inside the arc, guarded by Gomillion. Good cut there by Tucker. Grabs the ball in the lane, throws it out to Ansong. Back to Tucker. He's open in the corner for the triple. Back iron and off. Rebound loose and out of bounds off the Vikings. It'll be Green Bay ball with a fresh shot clock at 20. Brock Finstuen checked in during that break for Cleveland State. Here's a look at the replay. Meyer does a good job of getting offensive rebounding position here, and it really makes it hard for the Vikes to come away with that. that good hustle on his part. Green Bay to inbound, baseline McGee looking, looking, 
Bouncing into Meyer, baseline right, double team. Dribbles through the double and a reach in on yeah. Cleveland State. Nice It'll job. Be on Parker. Yeah. And for uh, Sean Parker, that's his second personal foul. Meyer Fifth against Cleveland yeah. State here in the second he half. Sees this double team coming and he splits right through it. Draws the foul. Good job by the big man. 56-43, Cleveland State by 13. Inbounds comes to Meyer, gonna lean in, put it off the window, fell off, got his own rebound, forced it back up, Johnson blocked it. And goaltending is called on Johnson. Count the basket for Meyer. So he's got a dozen, and it's 56-45. As Green Bay gets four points on that trip down the floor. Meyer's got a good live body, does a nice job of adjusting, stays with the play, pops right back up. Well. Here's Gomillion the other way. His shot blocked out of bounds off Green Bay. It'll be Cleveland State ball with 12-12 to What'd go in the second half. What do you think about that goaltending call? Mm -hmm. Look, looked pretty good to me from the replay. What do you think? I thought it was a clean block. Well, that one by Gomillion. That was about the same. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Parker to inbound. He finds a wide open fence to and he lays it in. 58-45, but defer. we have the benefit of slow motion replays. I always it's defer to your for judgment, Alan. Well, I, I respect your experience. In the I think you do on some chair. things. Some things, sure. Cleveland State by 13, 11.55 left. Here's oh, Meyer. many things, many things, my <laughs> friend. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're uh, angling for something. I'll find out what that is soon, I'm sure. It's Jenkins on the left wing. Sideline left, wide open McGee. Triple try, long. Johnson, the Cleveland State board. He'll dribble it ahead. Johnson throws it ahead for Finstoon. Got it to the rack. Reverse, good. Brock Finstoon has six points. 60-45, Cleveland State, 11.32 to go here in the ballgame. And Spider's laughing because he darn sure was not was not sure that he was going to be able to thread the needle on that pass, but he's got it done. Yeah, four assists now for Spider Johnson, the center. Now, got a traveling violation in the front court as Manuel Ansong went to make a move. Trago Million slow getting up. He'll hobble to the bench, but now he's able to put weight on both ankles. Plus, Vikings on the run with Johnson to Finstoon for the bucket. Vikings up by 15. He's Pat Bianchik. I'm Al Pulowski. Cleveland State from the field now overall shooting 61.5%. We're getting technical because, in case you're wondering, the single game highs for field goal percentage all time for Cleveland State. 68.5% was the best ever. Happened in 1979 at George Mason. Wow. It's a good team. They wanted to crack the top five, 66.7%. Valpo, February 13th of 84. Ah, there those are go. both of the Ray Derringer, Lee Reed, Frank Edwards era. Indeed, look at you knowing your history. Mike Sweeney, Darren Tillis. We're a history major, it's all making sense right now. Cleveland State with the ball in the lane. Gomillion to Finstoon in the corner for three, he knocks it down, Finstoon, beaten up. He's got seven points here in the second half, nine overall. 10.59 to go, Vikings their largest lead, 63-45. He is a veteran player, he's tough, and he can score in the perimeter and on backdoor cuts. I uh, really like Vince doing. There's Jenkins on the drive, kissed it in off the window, nice pump fake and put it up and in with one hand. 10 points tonight for Nate Jenkins. Third Phoenix in double figures, 63-47 CSU, 10.37 left in the contest. Johnson near the top of the key, hands off there to go Million as Green Bay continues in the man-to-man. -man. The Million drives left of the lane, pump fakes and tosses it out to Finstoon. Man with the hot hand out top on the dribble. He's got nine points off the bench. Gives it to Johnson at the right elbow, seven to shoot. Flips to Hodge, open jumper from 18, good. Du Bois Hodge hasn't taken a lot of shots today, but he's made the majority of them. Four of seven from the field, he's got nine. 65-47, Cleveland State again by 18. Jenkins for three, backboard and iron off. Rebound loose, Finstoon falls down, but got it. Flips it to Patton, three on two the other way. Patton down the lane, forced it up, no. Rebound tipped out, grabbed by Ansong of Green Bay. Ansong will slow it down. Get it over to McGee, quickly in the front court now to Jenkins. And I just uh, love the Bay freedom that gets Dennis, into the half court offense. Yeah. Yeah. That Dennis Gates gives his team to run every time they get the ball. It's so, such a fun way to play the game. Key on the drive on Finstoon got by him, forced it up no, but Finstoon got him. 
Pitt's doing his first personal foul, sixth against Cleveland State. 9.39 to go, second half, 65-47 Vikings, their largest lead of 18 right here. And I want to expand on that a little bit. Every coach in the country says, oh, yeah, we want to run, we want to Cleveland State really runs. I mean, every single time, make, miss, otherwise, they just get it out and they go and, and they try to attack you at the rim. And it's really the old school way of playing. McGee, a couple of free throws at the line to the right, makes the first one as we watch the replay. Well, little contact, but sometimes uh, I've seen them let that, that amount go. Steber back on the floor. Jim Kersman has also come on for the first time. You know, check it, not Kersman, but Ryan Claflin on the floor for Green Bay. Second free throw is missed. Cleveland State has the ball on a 17-point advantage. 9.30 left. High post left. It's Spider Johnson. Throws it to Gomillion outside the arc on the right wing. Looking down low. Nothing available. Going to lob it back door. Johnson. And the ball hit the rim. So it'll count as a shot. No good. Green Bay gets the rebound. Here's McGee on the dribble. He with seven points tonight, but just two of ten from the field as the Vikings defense is focused on him and for the most part held him at bay. Here's Steber at the right point. 17-point lead for the Vikings. Now McGee out 30 left wing. 10 to shoot. Down the lane goes McGee. Going to force it up in a crowd. No. Tip. No. Rebound is collected by Claflin. And now we've got a whistle. That, that is Kersiman. It's a jump ball. That'll belong to Green Bay on the alternate possession. So Kersiman and Claflin both on the floor along with Steber and Song and McGee. Here's a look at it once again. Reminds me of one of those old gym class scrums. You know, you're fighting over the basketball in gym class. You know, just kind of roll all over the gym with it. <laughs> <laughs> Steber in the corner for three off the inbound. It's short. And saw with a wow. great rebound. Put it back up and in. He's got a game high. 17 points. 65-50 Cleveland State. Emmanuel Ansaw having himself a night. He's 8 of 11 from the field. Seven rebounds, 17 points. And song, it's like he's on a pogo stick the way he jumps up there. 15-point lead for Cleveland State. Johnson on the drive. Kick out. Corner right. Finstoon for three. Short on the jumper. And the rebound is collected by Green Bay's Claflin. The ball over to Steber. Will come ahead. 65-50 Vikings. 8-20 on the second half clock. Out top. Kersiman. Go to the right wing. Hands it off McGee. Guarded by Johnson on the switch. Right wing. Crossover dribble. In the lane. Stops. Turns. Fades from 10 feet. Put it off the front iron. No good. Hodge the Viking rebound. Long outlet. Patton. Two on two the other way. Going to float it off the backboard. No rebound. Johnson back up. No. But drew the foul. Second of the second half against Green Bay. And that foul, I believe, is going to be on Claflin. I honestly think Torrey Patton was trying to throw a lob off the backboard for Spider Johnson. He was. I, you know, I agree. And that's he how was. he sees the game. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that was the only way to get him the ball. He yeah. really didn't have an angle for a shot. It's so creative. You just don't see guys thinking ahead that way. He, he sees things out there that nobody yeah. else does. Johnson with 7.7 .7 rebounds tonight. Misses the first of two. Cleveland State from the line overall now. Six of eight. Green Bay eight of 11. As McGee checks out, Jenkins comes in. McGee sits down with seven points. It's like something me and you would do playing Nerf, Nerf ball in your basement, you know. Like, yeah. Whack it off the, the backboard. Back you come in for the dunk. Off sure. the wall, you know, and I'm ready. Hey, I'll throw it up there to me. I got it. Hey, Pat, why didn't you get it? You missed it completely. <laughs> no, well, I'd never drop your dime, baby. Come on. Johnson misses both free throws. Green Bay in the basketball, trailing by 15. Here's Steber on the right wing. Off a handoff from Kersiman. We'll get it back to Kersman on the right block. Double team. No look pass down the lane to Jenkins. Cuts to the hole. Put it up. No. Drew a foul on Cleveland State. 7.42 left. Couple of free throws coming when we come back. This foul is on Jason Woodridge. His second. Team seventh. We'll take a timeout here at the Wolstein Center in Cleveland. Seven here on ESPN Plus. So look at that last play. Jenkins drawing the foul on Jason Woodridge. So go to the line and shoot two. And Cleveland State's 24-hour day of giving is scheduled for Wednesday, February 16th. Your chance to support the Vikings sports program of your choice. Dollars directly benefiting scholarship, nutrition, travel, aesthetic enhancements to athletic facilities and more. Visit CSUGivingDay.com for more information. It's Wednesday, February 16th. 
CSUgivingDay.com. So after you give a little something to your lovey WL What's on that? Monday, make sure you know, it's, it's, that's that's uh, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, Day coming yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. right. Two right. days yeah. later, you got to give something I'll, to the university. I'll give something to okay. yeah, my wife on Valentine's Day. Uh, yes, I appreciate Jess, that. Yeah. Jess I, I made sure to remind him this year. Honey. Indeed, indeed. I never forget anyway, but thank you very much. <laughs> Jess, thanks you that's as well. That's not what I heard. <laughs> all right, all right. Northern Kentucky 56, <laughs> Oakland 53, 458 to go. I heard that you are going to give me a stipend to buy her a gift, too. That's what Oh, I'd gladly. I'm sure. Maybe uh, buy her a pack of gum with the stipend you I, do. That's about all I can afford. I think. come on. A couple of free Who's throws are good the big for Green Bay. Down here, you or me? I think you. 65-52 <laughs> the score. Cleveland State by 13. They were up by 18. Woodridge held. It's not true at home, fans, by the way. It's, uh, by Jim Kersiman. That's the uh, third <laughs> foul on uh, Green Bay in the second half. First on Kersiman. So you're going to give me a buck 50, you're saying, then? Yeah, uh, at least. Okay. You know, inflation right now, though. Well, I, I better give you. me two, you're right. Here's Woodrich on the right wing. <laughs> He'll send it over on the left side to Parker. Cleveland State by 13, 722 to go. Bounce it in the paint to Johnson. He'll spin. One-handed shot right there from six feet. Boy, nice little one-handed effort there Second by Johnson. Second time we've seen that tonight. He's got nine points, seven rebounds, four assists, and he's a perfect 4-4 four, four from the field. Bikes by 15 once again. Little rocker move. Dip to the left, come back to the right. Love it. Seven minutes to go here in regulation in Cleveland. Green Bay and Cleveland State. Vikings by 15. Jenkins working against Finstu. Uses the screen, comes to the top. Ball goes down low, Kersiman. Down goes Woodrich, and we've got a whistle and a charge called on Kersiman. Second foul on him. Fourth against Cleveland State in the second half. Jason Woodrich picked up a few cheap ones. This time he gets the benefit. Atta boy, that's the way to throw those arms up in the air. Nice job. 67-52, <laughs> Cleveland State. 6.50 left. Uh, I'm sorry, Al. You know, you, these guys are big, strong kids, man. It takes a lot to knock them over if you really even try hard. Right. But, uh, hey, you, got, you know, that's the way the game is. If you can get it, do it. Johnson, I post right. He'll give it to Parker on the left wing behind the arc. To Woodridge off a screen, bluffs the three, dribbles in, pass down low, Johnson. Oh, beautiful. Johnson yeah. double, tripled, ball squirts out to Woodridge. Open from 17, swish on the fadeaway. Jason Woodridge got a serendipitous bounce. He's got seven, 69-52, Cleveland State. I'm not to disagree. That was an assist from Spider Johnson falling down. That They're going to give him that assist. Serendipitous okay. bounce. That would be the fifth assist for Johnson, if true. Yes. 17-point lead for Cleveland State. The drive, Meyer strong to the basket, but missed the layup. Rebound, Finstoon for Cleveland State, flying ahead into the front court. Gives to Woodridge, storming to the basket, forced it up, no, but drew the foul as he went down. Went up strong with Ansong there, and Ansong guilty of the foul with the body. It'll be his first personal foul, sixth against Green Bay here in the second half. So unselfish. Every time the Vikes run the break, they're always looking to make the, the drop the dime to their teammate. Fence doing that time. Beautiful pass in stride. Jason Woodridge, two of two at the line today, sinks the first one. So now he's three of three. He has eight points. Cleveland State up 70 52. This matches their largest lead with 6.04 to go. Hill in. Parker out for the Vikings. Parker with four points, four assists, and second free throw is good for Jason Woodridge. 19 point lead for Cleveland State. Vikings from the field now shooting 61%. They lead the Horizon League at 47%. They take a lot of, obviously, high percentage shots. The right side of Jenkins wants the three. Cross court pass, Steber catches on the wing, dribbles in, bounces out top. It's Claflin. Over to Steber, left wing triple try, off the side eye or no good. Hodge, the Cleveland State board. 5.35 to go, Vikings up 71-52 to Woodridge, right wing, sets and fires the tray, swish! Woodridge with a dozen off the bench. Cleveland State behind the arc now is 8 of 15 today. 74-52 Vikings, 5.20 left. They have just worn Green Bay down by pushing the pace all game long. Jenkins out top against Hodge. Round a screen to his left. On the drive, floater from seven feet right there. Great little running shot by Nate Jenkins. 74-54 Cleveland State. Jenkins with that bucket has 14. And we have a timeout on the floor. We'll take a break as well. 5.09 remains. Our score at the Wolstein Center in Cleveland. Cleveland State 74, Green Bay 54. 
is always out there. Actually, uh, I am the, the worst. Horizon. A reminder that our greatest goals are rarely attained. And as soon as you reach one, Jason Woodridge drained the three, 74-54 Cleveland State. Along with Pat Bianchik, I'm Al Pulowski. So, Cleveland State is up by 20, but they are seven assists away. Hey. How are you tonight? Seven assists. Yeah, there you are. There he is. The grand Pat's grandson is here tonight as well. How about that? <laughs> there he is. He's made it. I He's on that. ESPN Plus. You're on camera. Very buddy. good. <laughs> So he was cheesing, too. He's getting ready to cheese. Seven assists away from a <laughs> all-time record for Cleveland State, which started playing basketball in 1929 as Penn College. Uh, they did it against Central Connecticut State in the 80s, Pat. You were on that team. I the was. rumor is you had no assists, though, in that game. Uh, that's not true. Okay. All I had to do was give the ball to Ramsey and Mouse and let them do all the rest of the work. They put it in all. How about Woodridge fading from the corner, knocking down another triple. 77-54 Cleveland State. Woodridge, his third three-pointer. He now has a Viking high, 15 points off the bench. 442 is left. Nate Jenkins. Over on the left wing for Green Bay on the drive against Patton. Cut off, throws it out to Steber. Steber out behind the arc, lob down low. Meyer caught it, stripped. Hodge has it, bounce ahead, Patton running with Woodridge. Goes in the right corner to him, bluffs the three. Looking for help, still looking for help. Going to bounce it to Chris Green. Mid post right, Green. A couple of jab steps, takes a dribble. Leans in, forced it up, rim and off. And McGee has the rebound for Green Bay. 77-54, Cleveland State. 4.08 to go in the contest. Here's McGee on the drive. Right of the key, stops, turns, leans with the left hand. Threw up an air ball, but Meyer grabs it. Forced it up in a crowd, no, but drew the foul as Patton and Green were both there. And the guilty party is Chris Green. His first, eighth foul against the Vikings here in the second half with four minutes to go, and we'll take our final media timeout right here. The Wolstein Center in Cleveland tonight. The Vikings have been Hitting from the outside, shooting 62%. Woodrich, a game high, 15 points. Vikings up 77-54. with Northern Kentucky down in Northern Kentucky. Right now the score is 66-61, NKU with a minute 50 left. Back here on ESPN Plus, look at that last foul. That'll send Cade Meyer to the free throw line with four minutes to go. Cleveland State up 77-54. Pat Bianchik, I'm Al Pulowski. Great to have you along here tonight as well. Don't forget about CSU Giving Day. It's happening on Wednesday, February 16th. 24-hour day of giving. For more information, visit CSUgivingDay.com. It's the ninth annual Cleveland State's goal, $300,000. And, of course, uh, we are at Cleveland State. Fan watching tonight at Green Bay at the mid-major level. Donations provide such an important source of support for all athletic budgets. These kids are so dedicated to their schools, their teams, their classroom, you know, their studies. Cleveland State athletes are tremendous in the classroom. If you look at the overall GPA of all the teams, very, very worthwhile to support them on the 16th. Hey, Magnus making a lot of friends here today. Oh, yeah, my, my grandson loves Magnus. He gets jazzed when he sees Magnus. 77-54, Meyer at the line. He's had a good night tonight. Meyer with 12 points, four boards, three assists. Drains the first free throw, so he has 13. Cade came in averaging eight points, four rebounds. You look at him and Kamari McGee and Nate Jenkins, a couple other players. Green Bay's got some talented youngsters that are going to be good in this league for time to come. And they've already improved this year. They had a rough start to the year, but they've really played better in the last month, month and a half. Second free throw is missed, 77-55 Vikings. Patton driving the other way, going to force his way to the basket and score it off the window. Patton with 16 to lead Cleveland State, 79-55 CSU, 340 left. You know, Al, the great ones like Torrey Patton, they do what you almost don't even notice, their numbers as they're playing. 
But then you look at the end of the game and they have 18, 20 points and all these assists and rebounds that you didn't even notice because Torrey does it in such a seamless uh, yeah, manner. Just took an inadvertent finger to the mouth area. Never draws attention to himself or himself. Just a guy that knows how to play. And in the rec league games, he's going to be scoring 50 a game when he's all done. <laughs> few, 15, 20 years from now. 16, 5, and 5 tonight. Points, rebounds, assists. He's got a There's rec Max league Benton game, you know? <laughs> yeah, he's doing great tonight. Taking a look at Tory Patton, so he's got some blood there maybe in the nose. State champion at Trotwood Madison High School. I remember calling that game when he was playing as a senior, and he just played the same way. He just led his team unselfishly. It would run and gun, and and he just is a winner. So while they tend to Tory Patton, both teams will head to their respective benches. 332 is left. Cleveland State 79, Green Bay 55. And uh, there's something on the floor that Dennis Gates is working with. That's the contact. Ah. Uh. So I think we're going to see a few guys off the bench tonight. We should shortly, huh? Woodridge in for Patton. Yeah, we might. Green, Fitzdoon, Hill. And guys like Aria Escandaria. Love that name. Matt ah, Sternberg. Yep. We'll see. 332 left, 79.55 CSU Steber. A couple of free throws here. Lucas Steber, 73% from the free throw line this year. Two points, two rebounds, five assists tonight. Those five assists to Phoenix High. Front end of the one and one is up and in. 79-56 Cleveland State. One more free throw coming for Lucas Steber, the redshirt freshman from Green Bay. It's a Southwest High School. Well, these guys are, you know, they're taking their licks this year, but they will be good. Coach Ryan, of course, the son of Bo Ryan from Wisconsin. Yeah, a lot of Fame. potential, no question. He'll put it together. They'll be tough to beat in a few years. 79-57 as Steber made them both. Vikings by 22. Here's Green, high post left. Dribbles to the right, bounce to Hodge, cutting the basket. Lost the ball, got it back on the baseline. Takes a dribble right to the rack and scores. He's so quick. Very few players have that quick move to the rack in their arsenal, but Des Moines Hodge certainly does. He's got 11 with that basket. 81-57, 3.13 to go. And now we've got a 30-second timeout for Cleveland State. I think they're going to use it to get subs in as we watch Hodge here working. Stays with the play. A lot of people might think that's a travel, but you're allowed to fumble the ball all the way up to the floor as long as you don't get any control for, from it at any point. It's a great job by Hodge of staying with the play and then using his veteran savvy to finish the score. Two young kids having a good time here tonight in Cleveland. 81-57, Vikings lead the Phoenix with 3.13 to go. Loving the shade hats tonight, you know. Nice little giveaway. Bucket hats? The bucket hat, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Nice That's why I'm here. Shade hats, uh, yeah. Give you shade as well, especially if you're golfing or fishing. Those would come in handy. You know what? I've never done either. I played a little really? bit of golf. Ne never fished in my life, not once. And I only live about a mile from the lake. Yeah. <laughs> now you're right by the lake with your new house. Yes, that's right. Here comes Jenkins into the front court for Green Bay. 24-point lead for the Vikings. Jenkins will go sideline right to Meyer. Guarded by Marambo and the man-to-man. -man. Out top it goes McGee. Left wing Steber. Marked by Finstoon. Down low Meyer on the block. Turns one-handed shot right there. Cade Meyer with 15. 81-59. Cleveland State by 22. 2.48 to go. Hill in the front court. Hill will give to Marambo. High post right. Marambo looks down low, nothing there, takes a dribble, finds Hill. He'll dribble to the lane, Hill behind the back, turn around one and a shot on the rim and in. Nice little nifty touch for Hill. He's got 11, he's the fourth Viking in double figures. 83-59, Cleveland State, 230 left. You know, Hill made that look easy, but that comes from hours and hours and hours of playing one-on-one, -on -one, yep. you know, in the backyard or on the playground. There's Jenkins, Steber now. Ansong drives in from the right baseline, forced it up, glass rim off, rebound tipped, out to Meyer, jumper from 20, swish! Cade Meyer has 17, that ties him with Emmanuel Ansong for the game high, timeout on the floor, with 2.08 to go, the Phoenix use a 30 second timeout, Meyer now 7 of 14 from the field. 83-61 with 2.08 to go, Vikings in the lead. Watch how he uses his legs to pop up in rhythm. 
Follows straight through his right eye. That's how you shoot it. So Cade Meyer came into tonight averaging eight points, four rebounds. Six foot eight freshman forward from Monroe. And uh, I tell you, he is uh, one of those players that Green Bay was very excited. I know when they recruited, they were able to get. He's delivered so far as a freshman. Just a little feel for where he should spin there. He'll put him in the spin cycle, the little jump hook. The ladies getting in rhythm up there. Cleveland State in a 22-point lead with Morambo Green, Finstoon, Hill and Woodridge on the floor. Green Bay with Jenkins, Kersman, Claplin, Steber, and so front court Hill. Go high post right to Morambo. Bounce it over to Hill, left wing. A minute 55 left. Vikings by 22 to Finstoon off the screen, right point. He'll throw it down low, Morambo, right block. Spins on the dribble. Forces his way in the lane, gonna force it up on the shot, no, but drew the foul. <laughs> Morambo will go back to the line and have two more free throws tonight. That foul is on Cade Meyer. Picks up his, uh, let's see here, second personal foul tonight. It's the sixth against Green Bay in the second half. Little baby shack action down in the post there, just, just using his muscle to overpower. Two free throws for Anderson Marambo. This is the first one. Marambo tonight has three points. He's three of five now at the line. He'll get one more free throw. Here comes Ben Sternberg on the floor for his former high school teammate, Jason Woodridge. There's Benny, six foot senior from Lakeland Community College and Beachwood. Next free throw for Marambo. No good. Rebound Meyer for Green Bay. But Meyer putting together quite a night. He's got 17 yeah. points, six rebounds, three assists. And only a freshman. He's going to be really good. Here's Meyer again working against Marambo. Cross court pass to Steber. Sideline right. Throw a cross court left side to Claflin. Catch and shoot three. Swish. Claflin all net. First bucket tonight. 83 64 Vikings. A minute 22 left. Hill will trot the ball into the front court. Hill. Goes high post left to Marambo. Marambo gives it back to Hill now at the right point. Sternberg trying to come free on a the screen. There he is. Catches out top. Sternberg dribbles to his left. Sternberg going to drive. Stops at the baseline. Spins. Goes into the lane. Lost the ball. Steber takes it. Comes ahead. Bounce it ahead to Jenkins. Slob. Went off the backboard. Looking for Ansong. Sternberg able to save the ball as he goes flying into the seats. Green Bay's got it. Right side is Jenkins. Wide open for three. Got it. 83-67 Vikings, 52.2 seconds left. Well, Jenkins fans. has 17 tonight, so three players for the Phoenix with 17. Meyer, Ansong, and Jenkins. Here's Marambo, gonna lob it to the block. Catch by Green, takes a dribble. Got his defender in the air, drew the foul as Green will go to the line. As Ryan Claflin came down on him. And uh, Green. on the top of the head here, yeah. maybe. Pump fake. Ooh, yeah, yep. I think he got hit on the back of the head. Following Claflin's a second, so Green will stay on the floor. He'll shoot a couple at the line to our left. Looking for his first points of the evening. Chris Green, four of eight from the line this year. The senior from Community College of Beaver County. 40.3 seconds to go. First one is up and in to make it 84-67 Cleveland State. Here comes Aria Eskandari, 6'3 walk-on senior from Sanford, Florida, Lake Mary Prep. And Randy Tucker returns for Green Bay. One more free throw for Green. Try to make it 85-67 Vikings. It's on the way. It's good. So two points tonight for Chris Green. Inbounds coming to Jenkins. Throws it ahead. Claflin sideline left in the front court. Now back to Jenkins. Over to Tucker right wing. Bounce it to Steber, sideline right, cross court pass. Jenkins catch and shoot triple up, short. Storms in, Jenkins got his own rebound, gonna pump, shoot, foul by Green. I tell you, Jenkins hasn't stopped working all night. That's He's got right. 17 points, four boards, and he has played a very solid ball game here tonight. He'll get a couple of free throws for his efforts. That's what you want out of you young players. You don't want them to get down and quit when they're down by 20. Stays with the play, gets rewarded. Jenkins first of two is up and in. 18 points tonight for Nate Jenkins. That is a season high for Jenkins. They've got some uh, weapons. They're just they're just young, unseasoned compared to Cleveland State, who's totally seasoned. And they've tied the game. Jalen Moore, a three-pointer to tie the game with one second left out in Northern Kentucky. Wow. They're in overtime, even at 70. Here it's 85-68. Yeah. 
Vikes need Northern Kentucky to get that win. Cleveland State by 17. Sternberg dribbling. Jenkins had some words for him. Still talking to him. Five seconds to go. Three seconds. Two. One. Game over. Final score at the Wolstein Center in Cleveland. Cleveland State 85, Green Bay 69. With the win, Cleveland State improves to 15 and 5 on the year, 11 and 2 in the Horizon League. They'll either be in first or second place, depending on what happens in Oakland tonight. As you see Dennis Gates talking with Will Ryan. Green Bay with the loss falls to 4 and 17, 3 and 9 in the Horizon League. But Pat, we talked about Green Bay having some exciting young players. We saw those on display tonight. Jenkins had 19, Meyer had 17, and Song had 17 as well. Yeah, they uh, the, the future is bright. They're taking their licks this year, but you see Hansong over this taller Spider Johnson with a jump hook, I'm telling you. But Cleveland State got the running game going. You see Yael Hill cut back against the grain to score. And uh, that's where they're strong. Troy Patton skipping it across the hill. Hill was really a spark off the bench tonight, Al. Yep. Uh, in so many ways. Here's Parker finding, uh, you know, Trey Gamillion in the corner. That's all off transition stuff. And that's what Cleveland State's really good. Our thanks to our great crew here tonight. Andrew Jersak, correct, or directed. Replay was Asher Ranch. Graphics, Kaylee Obert. Cameras, Aiden Forey, Jack Lipka, Nicholas Muscarella. For Pat Biancic, I'm Al Palau.